Hello, Ronnie Prince of the Bear here. We're at Universal today. And all of the lines are ridiculously long today. So you're going to come along with us and find out what it is that are doing Universal, both vegan and non-vegan, when uh, the ride lines are kind of ridiculous. We're testing a new mug today, so let us know how you guys think it sounds. And uh, first things first, time for a drink. Be sure to expecto patronum. You heard the girl. This one is the witch's brew, I think, or dragon scale. Witch's brew. Witch's brew. I like this one because it's nice and light. Oh, this is quite nutty. It's like a Newcastle. I think I've said that before. I will give this one a three out of five hops. So don't be like us kids and roll over freezes. Just go to the counter. We waited for 10 minutes because apps froze. The princess and her witch's brew. I guess it is sort of witch season, maybe we're a little bit late. I don't know. You tell me when witch season is. But uh, it's bubbly, cauldrony, I guess. I don't like the hoppiness of it. It's light and it's drinkable, but the aftertaste, not doing it for me. Two and a half out of five plus. Then we have the witch's brew, a nice dark ale. Very rich and coffee flavor. This is like a, a deep breakfast beer, but not really my jam. So I guess I'll just make give it a three out of five hops. I wanted something dark and glorious, even though I'm a little bit late for Black History Month. So here we are with the uh, Dragon Scale. Oh yeah, with some coffee notes, nice and smooth. I can do this. Four to five blocks. Ooh, there you go. Let's let's get a Romanian dragon. Sugar chef, springtime. Hi. 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 The poutine, the sugar shack springtime punch, and one of the Labat blues. The Sugar Shack Springtime Punch is a whiskey drink that is way too small. It almost tastes like horchata. Like a maple horchata. Obviously without the milk. It's alright. I'd give it 3 out of 5 cinnamon sticks. Springtime punch. Now this is what I'm talking about. Whiskey, first thing in the morning. Ooh, yes. I need a good connect for pear juice because pear juice and whiskey might be my new thing. That is delicious. Universal, these five dollar cups, this is not gonna stand. Disney's giving us 12 ounces, y'all are messing up. Five out of five paws. You guys come here, that's on my list. Come get that. Labette Blue Burr. This is Bud Lighty. This is better than a Bud Light, but it definitely gives you that like Bud Light vibe. I'd probably give this four out of five hops and not share. So we have the uh, Labatt's Blue. I believe I've had this before. It's almost frightening how clear this beer is. I hope it's better than Bud Light. And it is. Not by much though. Two and a half out of five plus. So we have the vegan maple glazed donut from Canada. This is one of the two options we mentioned in our last vegan video that we did not try because it was a dessert. We're doing desserts today, people. Hmm. Hmm. It's like a light, fluffy cinnamon dough. 
with um, almost like a pancake like taste to it like a pancake that's been cooked too long mine is clearly undercooked it should be like a golden brown instead of this like barely passable for cooked but it's still good I enjoy it I'm going to eat it and I'd probably give it three out of five maple leaves we finally made it to Canada where all your dreams come true this uh, maple donut it's not really looking donut to me it's looking more like a flat flatbread pastry with sugar and cinnamon I think it's called an elephant foot not complaining Pretty chewy. I don't know if I like that. I like my donuts chewy. Chewy and biscuit chewy. The flavor is good. Don't get me wrong. It tastes wonderful. But the chewy was not within my realm of expectation. However, it tasting so well, I would probably eat it again. Three and a half out of five plus. Finally. I get to have this Canada Boutine. I have been daydreaming about this since I saw one of our friends eat it. But this gravy looks delicious with this demi glaze, like burnt ends of the pork in here, or steak actually. And then you got some like steak cut fries, not too thick, not steak cut, but not a uh, shoestring. I can live with that. That'll definitely get you right in the O Canada. The steak is delicious. The gravy is amazing. Deep, rich flavor without being overkill. Got some little onions and some herbs in here. Now this is poutine. I think better than any poutine I've had at Disney, minus La Cellier. Four to five plus. Hello there, good to see you. I'm surprised that Spain only has wine, but we got a rosé. Oh, this is flavorful. This is a very good rosé. This was worth the wait. I felt bad for our team member. She had to open like three different bottles before she could get one to actually open for her and pour this. I would probably give this four and a half out of five grapes. I feel a little bit sorry for the team member, but uh, it happens to all of us. What do you do when a cork gets stuck? Do you just fish it out? Do you stab it in? I'm a stabber. I would just push that cork in the bottle. If I eat cork, then well, I'm quiet for a little bit at least. Let's give it a shot. Very fruit forward. It is like this tartness. It's almost like a, a spiked juice in a wine. Three out of five plus. The bear usually gets a red wine, but for some reason he got a white this time. This is nice and a light flavor. It's um, it'll pair nicely with bear seafood. Um, four out of five grapes. Maybe three out of five grapes. That's what it's white. Far easier for her to open. A nice aroma to it. Give it a swish and a swallow because we don't spit here. <laughs> it's light, it's crisp, without being too sweet. I like this one. Three and a half out of five plus. So here we have the infamous Spain paella. I don't know if it's infamous. I've heard actually nothing about this dish, but anytime you come to a park and run into paella, all because of Jaleos, we have to at least try it. We have the shrimp, the mussels, rice looks in here, got some pork in here, a little bit of everything. It's 
as much as we struggled making this at home, team members here made it look so easy. The rice is perfectly cooked. The shrimp on overcooked and they soaked in all the seasoning, the mussel and the seafood, pork. Everything feels like a complete dish. This, I will eat a whole plate of. Four and a half out of five plus. All cut. Well, we have some squid here. In here with the mussels, shrimp, and the pork. Good, seasoned, chewy, but not overly chewy. Perfectly cooked. This is a good paella. Never had paella? Try here first. The one which you will not be disappointed. You're not doing it right. 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 You're not This is like one of my favorites from our festival drinking video, the Goombay Smash. Yes. Five out of five pineapples for this one. Nice and sweet and good. This is like the only time I will enjoy and love pineapple, right here. So uh, when a Goombay says smash, you smash. Cheers. Smash the like button. Oh yes, tropical fruit, all the alcohols, and the citrus. Three and a half out of five plus. Get one of these. Uh -huh. It's a shark. It's a sharky shark. Shark in the water. Six feet away. Stay still. Don't move. Swim, swim faster. Mardi Gras draws is after you. I don't know about you, yeah, you, and you, and you. Get close, din, 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 close. Din, 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 gotcha. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. And it's Mardi Gras Friday, so Chief Brody definitely closed the beaches of Amity. We got the shark in the water, the Bruce. I don't even care that it's pineapple-y, it's good. A win, I give this five out of five sharks. It's always a good time for some uh, blood on the water, as long as it's not blood in the leaves or on the ground blood on the or in the out. saddle or anything else. But I take all the gummy sharks in the princess. I am never gonna refuse gummies in a drink, probably ever, except for you, Animal Kingdom. You take that stuff a little bit too far. Pineapple. This is how the ocean should taste. Complete with the blood in the water. Five out of five plus. It has more flavor. This char is immaculate. I know, right? The char is what sets it off. For sure. This is the Queen Park Swizzle. We had this in our last drinking video, but we had to get it again. I went to go do get the fillery, and unfortunately, they're out of it. it hurts my heart. It's like the one thing I was looking forward to today. This is very delicious, very sweet. I would give this four to five mint leaves. This right her. This is an expected an okay amount of greenery in my drink. Not the half a tree you put in last time. Oh yes. Refreshing. Hint of cinnamon. I feel swizzled. I'm satisfied. Three and a half out of five plus. The seat 
really big. Since we're waiting for these lines to go down, I couldn't resist going back to the tribute store and finally trying one of these hand pies. Crab meat, of course. It is a thick boy. I was not expecting to be this thick. And it's hot. Hopefully I don't burn out my insides. I'm gonna take a bite out of this. Woo! Very hot. Ow. My crust is good, but I barely got any filling. Hmm. It's definitely like a Cajun seasoned crab meat. It's juicy without being like overly juicy. It's not like leaking out. A little smoky flavor to it. And it tastes like. Tomato based crab meat was interesting for me because I don't I never really had too many tomato based crab meat dishes. But it's tasty. I can see this is a light snack. Three out of five plus. I honestly cannot imagine what tomato and crab taste like together. Oh good. Honestly. It's not like heavy tomato, you can just taste it. Think about like uh, gumbo. Like sort of like sauce, but with crab meat. Dumbo? That gumbo sauce, like you know, it's oh. sort of like that. Random day at Universal. Still plenty to do, drink, and eat. Even the lines, as long as they're already there. Mostly drink. Mostly drink. But hey, we had fun. We had a great time. We some beads. Yeah, we danced. Got some food. We danced. We Tried some day. new things. But we want to know what would you like to see us do next here at Universal. Let us know in the comments. If there's anything else you'd like us to do or go in here, Orlando, or otherwise, that'll be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.